All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are here with another part of this Black Myth Wukong walkthrough. So in this part, and probably the next part, we're going to deviate from our path a little bit. We're actually going to backtrack. I know it's it's a huge offset from normal, but um, we are here in Chapter 4. So Blackwind Mountain, Chapter 1, Yellowwind Ridge, Chapter 2, New West, Chapter 3, and then the Webbed Ridge, Chapter 4. So... What we're going to do in this part is go fight the long bosses. I've gotten a couple comments already um, that I, sh I should probably try to beat them before the end of this chapter. Because at this point, um, you can get a lot more powerful and it defeats the point. But I wanted to do it before the end of this chapter. But I, I finally was just like, you know what? I think I'm going to do it now. So we are probably within like six or so bosses from the end of chapter four. But we are going to go ahead and start from chapter one, go back to the first one. I think it's Red Long, uh, and go through the order and beat all of those bosses. I think you get a nice piece of equipment from it. Um, I, I think you get maybe an armor set or something like that. I think. Maybe, maybe it's a staff? I'm not sure. Again, I forgot. But we're going to go back to chapter one. We will be back. Once we finish all of these bosses, I think it is the outside the forest boss where the Wandering White spawns, I believe. I believe that's where it is. So we're backtracking pretty far, but I'm going to see if I can do, even if it's a little shorter parts, um, two bosses per part. Even if, uh, if it's 30 minutes, it takes me 15 minutes to beat each one, or if it takes me half an hour or longer, I'm going to try to stick to two bosses per part. That's the plan. What's my attack looking like? Oh yeah, I see that. Mm, yeah. I gotta kind of remember the way up here. Uh, I think it's this way? Yeah, we do a lot of damage. Oh, I think it's the waterfall over there. For what deed? Yep, there it is. What deed? Must the waters they govern and roam free? For what deed? Must all matters not known how to be? So this For happens. What deed? Must mercy's hand so woe upon thee? For what deed? Must the red one into the woods flee? So he, okay, is he gonna stop talking? Hit the back. Let the beach respire. As in the thunders conspire. Okay. That that whole tone there starts in the area near every long boss. Like we definitely saw it in chapter two in the desert area. Um before we dive into the fight, we are going to look at what we have equipped. Um, I'm still keeping the Spider Celestial Staff because that's a lot of attack damage. Uh, and the Focus Point recovers health upon a charged heavy attack. That's very useful. Uh, I'm, I've gone Opermana Bat. It doesn't have any equipped effect, but there's no spirit I have that increases chill, res uh, not chill, shock resistance, I believe. We can look at it one more time. I don't think I have anyone that... Increases shock resistance. There's chill. There's burn. That increases thunder damage, but that's not going to help that much. Increases attack, but eh. Yeah, so I've gone uh, Opera Mana Bat just to see if it's any good. Uh, we have... Crap. I think I have the... Azor Dust transformation on. I think that's what I have on. Oh, I... Okay, I guess we're starting it. So, what I was going to say is if you don't already know, um, if you are new to this series like me, in Chapter 2, after you fight in the arena for the first... I think first Rat Prince, a little bit after the second Rat Prince, Rat Prince and his... Uh, the King, his father, uh, you run into the first Rat Prince, and in his arena, uh, you can either... Two options, get him to charge into the wall like I did... Um, 
or you can get like the Azor Dust or the Wandering White and break up in the wall yourself. And that gives you long scales. I believe that's what it is. I don't know if I... I don't think that's it. That's uh, Chen Long. Yeah, long scales. It gives this in that area. And that's how you unlock the boss rooms for each of the long bosses. Let's dive right in. But I think I have the Zora Dust Transformation. We'll see how useful that is. I think this is going to take me a couple of tries. So we'll see with new e e each attempt if I have to ch change. Because I could go back to the... Uh, I think the staff you get from Shendigon. Or something like that. It gives more defense. I could go to the Red Tides. The burn one. Either way, I think we're pretty strong at this point. I don't think it should be that bad. We are going to see. Watch me get wrecked right now. Try this. I think he. I think from what I know, he explodes. Let's let uh, him do them do some damage on him. Ooh, I didn't dodge that in time. Let me get away. I think that I think that does explode. Maybe it's just that. Get back. Once he jumps up, I'll, uh... There we go. That's Red Long done. Yeah, I think I'm a little strong for this area. Yeah, that was a little too easy. Like I said, even if it's uh, even if it only takes like 20 minutes for this part, I will stick to that. Um, I want to get these done in its own parts, or own two parts. Uh, I think two, three, and four are going to be a lot tougher. This is literally the first chapter. I mean, you saw we one hit the enemies outside of this area, so that's nothing. Make sure we get this chest here. Two, three, and four will be tougher. I already that's. A hundred percent. Thundertail. I think once we get all the materials for each boss fight, um, then we can make either a staff or a piece of armor. I forget which. I think it's a staff. Let's look at the curio as well. Oh, considerable damage reduction when gourd use is depleted. Oh, by the way, the ones I have equipped are back scratcher, uh, maximum stamina. Stamina. Tiger Tally, increase hit with a light attack combo, um, and then a gate jar for increased defense, because also, once again, I realized I don't have anything that increases uh, shock resistance. <laughs> My own fault, though. Okay, I think... Is there anything else in this area? I don't want to leave anything if there is. I think that's it. We might just... Uh, incense Talisman back to the main area. Yeah, I think this is right back out. So, Incense Trail Talisman. 
and we'll head over to the next boss, which is, I think, Blacklong in Chapter 2. Oh, wait, what? Oh, so... Okay, well, I guess I actually have to travel back. <laughs> that was waste. So that was an easy boss. Like I said, we're pretty strong at this point. Well, fairly strong. Not for the chapter 4, but for chapter 1, we are very strong at this point. So, we'll see 2, 3, and 4. I think 2, three, two and 3 will be a little tougher, and then 4 will be... Ooh, that'll be tough. But, like I said, I think those will be its own parts. <laughs> because of how tough I think they're going to be. It might be like an hour long part. But we'll try to get a... Uh... Who are you? <laughs> Look at that. See? <laughs> Just one shot, everybody. So that's why we don't... That's why this boss was so easy. But once we get all the materials I th to... I think what makes a staff... We'll do a little farming. How do we get back to the... I think we came from this way, didn't we? Just want to make my way back to that shrine. Yeah, down here. Okay. Yep, that was nothing. We'll do a little farming. Like, I keep getting caught off trying to find my way around here. We'll do a little farming off camera, I guess. And, uh... If I don't have all the stuff to make, um, the staff or whatever. Wait, do we already have something? What is this? Oh, we have Thundertail. What else do we need? Oh, I, it's other stuff for this boss. Okay. Modern increases damage dealt by all pillar stance moves. It's not bad. So I think more more materials from the next boss is what it'll, what it'll cost. So let's go to Yellow Wind Ridge. What is, oh, that's Squall Hideout. Uh, I think it's... Windrest Hamlet? No, it's Fright Cliff. Rockrest... Flat. I think it's Rockrest Flat. You go up to the top area. Um, also, where I do a lot of farming, if this is the correct one. We'll see here in a second. Yep, this is the correct one. Th there is a farming route in this area you can take. But I think we're gonna... For what Must his head be out We already got damage, that's not great, but we'll just move on. For what deed? Must mercy and so Yep. Like I said, it says this in every area before the fight. And it's beneath a waterfall. We had water waterfall and sand waterfall. And victory is surely found. Open. So, like I said, we've got Opera Mana Bat. If I need to, I'll go back to, like, Guangzhou or something like that. Uh, Gorai Dallas, I don't think it'll help that much because, once again, long charging time. And he uh, these guys just seem, a, seem to attack a lot. So, I don't want to get stuck in the middle area. But I think Opera Mana Bat does a decent amount of damage for no status effect. We'll see, though. This is going to be a weird part where I'm not going to cut out any attempts. If it takes me an hour to beat this guy, I hate to do it, but I think I might just keep him in. We'll see. I say that, but if it's if it's an embarrassing amount, I'll, I'll freaking kick it out or cut it out. But I want to keep it realistic. Oh, different looking, dude. Black long. The main thing, I don't know their moves at all. I know that they all do shock attacks. Oh, yep. Yeah. 
Can y'all cover for me for a second? That was a waste. Ooh, that does a lot. Okay, well, maybe I, maybe I do carry on. That was a little too easy. You know what, maybe we go ahead and do Scion Long, see how long that takes. This is a little easier than I thought it would be. I mean, I know, like I said, I'm a little stronger than you should be probably for this boss fight. And I got that recommendation from a subscriber. But still, this is a little easier than I thought it'd be. I thought it would take more than one attempt just to get their move set down. But I didn't even go through half my gourd. Well, I, I did go through half my gourd. That's a new curio. What's that one? Slight reduces cooldown of all spells. That's useful. Yeah, that's I might actually swap that over. So maybe we'll go Scion Long and uh, for see how long that takes. Maybe we'll do all of them in this part. I don't know. I just thought it would take a way longer than this. I didn't even have to use my Azor Dust transformation yet. As like, I mentioned that to that same person that's mentioning the yellow, uh, the long bosses. That I save the Azor Dust because it's a saving grace. If I, oh, if I whiff on a dodge, okay, Azor Dust. I have a fallback plan. If I F up really badly, I can at least save a run with Azor Dust. Even if I just have to tank attacks for a little bit, I can do something. So we'll go over to chapter three. I forget where he's actually at in chapter three. Uh, I might actually have to look this up. Chapter 3, New West. Where was... Oh, okay. He was on the Turtle Island. That's where. Okay, I remember that. I didn't have to look that up. Let's head over there. Yeah, because I ran into him on the back of the turtle. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not doing that. Um, we'll see. We'll see how he is, though. Cloud Step is a good saving. Um, I still haven't used any of the Shock Quelling. Uh, the pills for shock resistance and getting rid of the shock state. But we'll see. Maybe we finish them all in this part. If not, uh, and we, if we, if we finish three and don't get to the fourth, um, we will probably do 
the lo last y long boss on um what deed must his head be hung for all to see on the carry on of to the next what deed must the waters they govern roam free for what deed must all matters not known how to be for what deed must mercy's hand so woe upon thee for what deed must the cyan one onto the shores flee? Evening light on snow, paths clear below, lightning strikes in flow, all happen before you know. Okay, as I was saying, if we finish this guy, and uh, we're already at the way long parts, uh, running way too long. I might carry on onto the next parts of finishing chapter four with the yellow long boss. We'll see. Let's dive right in and see if we can actually finish this guy in this part or all four in this part. Hello, gentlemen. You are the Scion Long. Right now, he's just a peaceful, peaceful fisherman. Ooh, yeah, I don't want to fight that. Scion Long, yep. Oh, he looks sick. Wait, are we fighting in this area? Oh, I put you way too high up. I put you... I don't know why I did that. Oh, you have a tail attack, too? Okay, I'm getting your moves already. How's that tail attack getting me? that health back. This is why I use him. See, this is why I use the Azor Dust transformation. That Rockfall just does big damage. So that's three of the four. I think we might be able to do all four in this part. I very overestimated these bosses. But, like I I'll keep repeating it. I'm aware that I'm going after these guys a little late. I should have fought these guys earlier if you wanted a really challenging fight. But, I guess I was a little too scared of them. And uh, I thought they would be way worse. Their moveset isn't even that, that bad. I got hit a couple times, but it's not it's not even that bad. 
So I guess I held off a little too long. So let's go back to Incense Trail Talisman. Um, and I think... I think the last one is chapter four. It's like relief of the fallen long or something like that in that zone. I don't think he actually pops up in the area until you beat these three, but I think that's where the last one is at. But either way, what do we got to brew? We got no new soak. What is this one? Uh, for the using using the gourds and oh god, significantly increases attack for the next. Unveiling strike in cloud step for a short duration. I want to stick with the short shock duration. Oh god shock resistance. I'm stuttering so bad all of a sudden um, I'm gonna stick to the ten-year coconut wine, but can I craft anything weapons wise yet? Is it not available? Oh This is golden long staff so I have everything for this one, and I assume the last parts will be from the upcoming boss. But it's all pillar stance. It's a, it's a lot of attack, don't get me wrong. But that's all pillar stance stuff, and I don't really use pillar stance. Okay, so you can... Oh, if you use pillar stance uh, with three or four focus points, you can... One of the long guys can be summoned to execute thunder. That's interesting, and the attack is fantastic. Don't get me wrong. Maybe there's a boss later on that I just, like, really need to use pillar. But for right now, I use... I use smash for everything. Let's travel to Webbed Ridge. I think it's... Yeah, Relief of the Fallen Long. There it is. This is where the last long boss is. We'll dive right into this fight. Once again, I don't know his exact location. Every time I hear the long name, I got a little scared of <laughs> venturing too far and getting stuck in a boss fight that I was not prepared for. But none of those three have been tough. I expected even with my upgraded gear, Chapter 3 to be a little bit tougher. Oh, what yep, there it is Must already. For all to see. See, I don't think he was actually up there until you beat the other three. Must the waters they go and roam free? For what deed? Oh, I didn't mean to start it already. Oh, all these guys look so cool. For all his foresight, Yuan the sign teller could never have known that. I've hidden upon his garb as a pattern. Our sire gave his life to pave the way for the journey. And not a day passes that we do not yearn to avenge him. Yet every day we find ourselves adrift without a home to call our own. I'll kill you to unbind our destinies. Distract him for a second. Yeah, that does a lot of damage.
God, that does so much. That does so much damage. Yep, okay. We're gonna run that back. See, this is what I'm talking about. I knew we were gonna get into an actual tough fight. I knew chapter four was gonna be tough, but even now, it doesn't seem that bad. I need to use uh, the shock quelling a little bit better, but... Real quick, um, one tip I, I... Like I said, I didn't see their moves. I just looked up where to find them. But what spells or spirits do I have? I don't think Opramana Bat is very good for this. Flurry of... Uh, I need something to, to stuns them very badly, but... This chills them, so I can I can freeze them, but I don't think that it doesn't last very long. Uh, Centipede Guai and Earth Wolf, those charge them. Non Void makes intangible that could save. Um, take the form of non able, let loose a flurry of punches and kicks. Different phases of light attack enable different moves. Let's try that one for now. I think it's going to take me a couple tries, but even now, it does not seem near as bad as I thought it would be. I know his moveset a little bit better now. And it's only like a 50 meter walk <laughs> over to him. Dang it, you made me waste the freaking... <laughs> yep, I'm dead. Okay. Whatever that move is where I trapped him in the corner did pretty good, but he phased out of there. Didn't use non able. Um, I think I'd go back to Opera Mana Bat. I just, I like his moveset a little bit better. He is a little tougher. This dude is tougher. But he's not. I don't think I upgraded that much where he's, he just doesn't feel all that bad. Actually, let's keep non able for now. I want to try him and actually using the wind taper vessel. Bro, I how am I getting hit by that every time? Need to back up and use a gourd here. I did not utilize that very well. Is. Holy crap. Yep, okay. That's a new one. Yeah, I'm gonna go off non-able. I think I'm gonna go back to Opera Mana Bat. It gets me out of the fight and chills him. I think that works pretty good. That's a new attack. <laughs> I think this might take a little bit, but I, I think I'll get it way quicker than... 
I don't know how to... I don't know how to phrase this very well, but Tiger Vanguard has been the toughest challenge for me out of any boss I've faced so far, so far in this game. Tiger Vanguard took me... Okay, to be fair, I didn't get a straight filming session. I had to take a break because I had other stuff to do. But Tiger Vanguard in Chapter 2 took me probably an hour of attempts. I don't know what happened, but it took me so long off camera... To, uh, to finally get the correct run. It was embarrassing. But. This guy does not seem on the same level as Tiger Vanguard. For difficulty level for me. Uh, I think we're going to go back to. Opera Mana. Let's go ahead and rest at the shrine. Maybe I should go ahead and put. Build one of these other things. But for now. Uh, we're just going to carry on from there. didn't even land on him. That does so much. Yeah, I'm dead. Even Opera Mana doesn't help that much. I think I need to go to a Zora Dust transformation a little quicker. Maybe actually use it a little earlier. I might actually go ahead and write to uh, cut out to the running one because I feel like it might it might take a little bit. Actually, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to cut right to the correct run. Unless it's, like, the next one. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute.
There we go. It's probably, uh... Our sire's head was hung when he defied the celestial court. We dreaded the Jade Emperor's wrath and pleaded with Master Yuan to help us abscond from our waters. But he warned us we might hide for a time, but not forever. In the end, someone will come to claim our lives. He had more to say. Sires to sons, we are destined to die for the righteous cause. I trust him, yet I won't obey. May your path not once more be a mere thread in their grand design. have been clean. If not now, when will you reunite? <sighs> Destiny repeats itself, always. <laughs> Why not cast the die once more? Okay. Where, where'd old dude go? Pick up. So is this our weapon now? Golden lining spell. Transforms into yellow long, granting, oh, gaining immunity to shock and ability to see through the enemy. Each attack inflicts, inflicts thunderbane. That is actually very good. So, I, I think that's it? I'm surprised there's no meditation spot here. I'm gonna be honest. So, that looks like a wall for... You know what we're gonna see. I don't have... I don't... You know what? I just realized I took off Azor Dust. So that, that run right there, the winning run, it was only about 10, probably 15 minutes of attempts. It wasn't... It wasn't that bad. I, I changed up my build a little bit. I went for all of my attack bonuses. I went towards the uh, Immortal Blessing Gore. I think I bought from Shen Monkey here in the last parts, or in the last latest chapter. Uh, it's the same one as the Plague Bane, pretty much, it seems, except more uses. Health recovery is halved, but attack is increased for a short duration. And then I went... Um... Oh, nice. That's actually that's pretty good for farming. What else did I use? I went to the Snout Mask, which increases attack after Gord use. Um, what else did I use? I went for Gorai Daoist, increases attack and more mana as the equipped effect. What else? I went to uh, Guangzi, or Red Tide's spell, away from Azor Dust because it wasn't helping that much. Um, and that, that actually worked pretty good. Uh, where is it? Golden Lining. Let's see what it looks like here. So that just transforms into yellow long, yellow long. That seems to be pretty good though too. Oh wow! So light attack X, heavy attack Fatal Shadow. Uh, so doing a combo light attack and initiating a heavy attack triggers a varied combo. If enemy strikes during this varied combo, you'll be able to see through their move and counter attack, earning one focus point, and with. With at least one focus point, Death Trilogy replaces Fatal Shadow. Shadow, Yellow Long leaps into the air, infusing the tip of his blade with thunder and slams onto the enemy's forehead, dealing massive damage. If followed by another heavy attack upon landing, another leap and slam can be performed. This sequence can be repeated up to three times. Once this move is executed, all focus will be emptied. That is that's pretty good. For now, I'm going to keep Azor Dust equipped, just because um, it's the one I use the most, just for fighting random guys and a lot of the guys here recently have used uh 
No, actually, most of that was in the last part. But I, I there's been some shock guys in this part. I don't think shock does a lot of damage to shock guys. Um, let's see what else. Can we craft weapons now? The Kangjin staff. We need Kun steel. I don't know how to get that. But we don't have any of the same stuff, so we can go ahead and make this one. It's not any better. I won't equip it. And for now, we're going to hold off. That attack is really good. 100 attack. The one I use right now is 85 with a 12% hit crit, critical hit chance and the focus point health recovery, which I very much like because I've been going for a lot of charged heavy. Uh, what else do we have? Is there anything else to do after you beat this guy? So, was it just these? I think that's it. Okay, this probably part will probably after I cut out the miscellaneous attempts. Um, should I keep them in? I don't know. They, they kind of key into what happens during my off-screen runs through, and it wasn't that many attempts. Um, you know what? I'm going to cut them out for this part, but let me know down below. I do want to check up here with the Zord Dust, but let me know down below. I can change it back over. Um, I keep the footage saved in an external hard drive, so if at some point you guys see this and want to see the full unedited, um, it's pretty much the same format, but all the attempts, let me know down below and I can repost the video um, with all the attempts. This just looks like the same wall in yellow uh, sec or first rat prints. So I just want to check. No, nope, there's nothing there. Okay. Well, I think that's where we're going to call it for this part. Uh, next time we will carry off with the, the rest of chapter four, the ending of chapter four. Um, I think where we are, what's it called? Forest of Ferocity. Um, I think there's a boss pretty much, like, right nearby. But for now, we're gonna go to, uh... There's a boss nearby, but I think we're within, like, six bosses of the ending of this chapter. So, we'll see you next time. Um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this part. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any feedback down below. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>